Hi, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a monthly favorites video and it's gonna be my January favorites. I try to do this almost every other month but sometimes I miss ho jata hai. I think the last one that I did was in October. But December mein I did like a yearly favorites so that kind of covers up for it. I honestly wait to film these monthly favorites videos because I get to talk about my favorite products. Not just products, I get to talk about my favorite things in general. For this monthly favorites, I have few products and some random things. Let's get started with the video. Start with skincare products first to make it less boring for you because I know so many of you are not that interested in makeup. Um, I also have very few makeup products but let's start with skincare. I have three skincare favorites. I can see that I have three skincare favorites. Yeah. Uh, first, let's talk about this lip balm. Uh, this is a product that I've been using. I've used throughout December and January every single day. This is the Vaseline's Lip Therapy, uh, the tin. The variant that I have is rosy lips. Now, I specifically like this variant a lot. This is how it looks like. I use so much of it and it's so affordable and easy on the pocket. Um, okay, first of all, I didn't think that I would, will be hooked to, the, to this product so much um, because I'm not the biggest fan when it comes to packaging like this where i have to dip my finger and it's just i'm not into rosy like floral fragrances especially rose but this one has such a mild very nice fragrance of rose which i really really like it's so good and it i think it has a very very slightest pink tint which is almost not visible i love how it works on my lips so love love this one of the most used lip balms in recent times okay next product is something that i've already spoken so much on my channel i've done a lot of shots on this this is the Gandas squalene cleansing oil it is a lightweight cleansing oil which is so true on point it has squalene hemp and vitamin E um, and this is not very expensive to be like a cleansing oil because usually cleansing oils thank you because cleansing oils can be very expensive. I use this both when I have makeup, like very heavy makeup and very light makeup because this does like equally an excellent job at removing my makeup. Um, it does not sting my eyes. I've used so many cleansing balms. Once it gets in contact with my eyes, it becomes, it, it stings my eyes and it is very, very uncomfortable. This one is so gentle on your skin melts every bit of makeup so i take like five to six pumps of this and i massage it into my skin and just within like five seconds this melts my makeup and it's so easy to just massage into your skin um honestly after i use this i don't even feel like i need to use a face wash but you can't really do that but what i'm trying to say is it just makes my face super super clean even when i just use this and it's such a beautiful beautiful product from Suganda. Something that I very very recently have started using. This is the Dot & Keys Ceramide in Hyaluron. It's for dry to very dry, very dry skin. Now my skin has been acting up. It has been drier than ever. I don't know why. It's not even that a freezing cold but I don't know my skin's just been peeling off from everywhere. It's been kind of not at its best. So the minimalist one is something that I can't really use during the day because it's uh, honestly heavy it's heavily heavily moisturizing i wanted to get something that i can use both during the day and at night and then i came across this um it is fragrance free it has ceramides it has hyaluronic acid and it's very very intensely moisturizing which i love this being a, a moisturizer that is very very hydrating and a ceramide based moisturizers is something that can be thick like really really thick but this formulation is so beautiful it's so beautiful um it has the right thickness when you blend into your skin i use this every single day something's up with my voice <coughs> if you're looking for a moisturizer recommendation for the winters look no further just run and get this let's jump into makeup now uh, i just have three products um i have a primer mars has a lot of primers but this one is the glow o'clock one that i have been using 
every time I do my makeup, every time I want to put makeup on, I will have to give it to them. I have not seen a prime of this kind of formulation in any Indian brands. At least I have not used anything like this. I know e.l.f. has one similar primer, but in the Indian market, I don't think I've seen anything like this. It has kind of a gel-like formulation that it's a little bit slimy. So when you apply it to your skin, it's so, so calming. And the kind of effect that it gives to my skin is out of this world. And it makes my skin very juicy and very, very wet. So no matter what foundation I use after that, it looks so beautiful and it sits so beautifully on my skin. When you apply this into your skin, it is a little bit tacky. So you know, it feels a little bit tacky, but once you move on to using any of your base product, none of that matters. So I love this product. I have lip favorites one of them i'm wearing right now um this is the kiro beauty's lip lacquer in the shade roasted walnut now this particular shade i don't know how it's looking on camera um it might look a little bit peachy but it's not peachy at all it's a very nice proper brown shade so moisturizing it feels so lightweight it has a very nice wet looking and very high shine formula you can find this on amazon at much much cheaper price like for half the price so keep an eye for it uh, i'm gonna link it for you the second one is a clear gloss which literally pura color because of how much i've used this i use this even on top of other lipsticks which is why it is a little bit not clear anymore but this is but this is a clear gloss that has like little bit of glitter in it also uh, like a holographic glitter which looks so pretty on the lips it comes for 320 rupees always always look out for when elf has buy one get one that is the time you should get it it's the best time so let's talk about the, uh, some fails that i recently tried i have the elf 16 hour camo concealer matte finish what an irony i remember i made a video I remember saying in a video that I really liked it. Saying I like it, I take it back. I don't know first of all why I bought this with me. Um, but this concealer is so trying my drying for me. Like like I told you, my skin has been acting up. Like my eyelids peeling off and it's, this concealer just makes it worse. I used it once last time. did not want to blend. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this I think the only reason I said that I liked it because I had very low expectations but now I don't think I really don't like it uh, this one very badly failed me um, then this mascara by ZM Zen and Maiza blanket mascara I got this um, from the Nika sale. I honestly thought this would be decent if not the best because um, people also had left like really good reviews but oh my god this mascara the first time I tried it even when I tried curling my lashes and wore this it, it gives a little the slightest volume but the problem with this mascara I feel is the formulation it does not hold the curl of my lashes at all it, after a while it, my lashes just droop down and you can't even tell that I've worn any mascara. It's a very average mascara and after a while I don't, I can't even even tell he I've worn any mascara. A fashion favorite, not fashion, accessory favorite, this bag. Um, this, this one I got from Urbanic and this is like a fanny pack and it is so freaking versatile. I wear it with everything I um, only carry this wherever I go because the space that it has. So it has two uh chain pockets first one and the second one first of all the first of all the chain part is really good base that it has this fits my entire world even uh the shoulder bag that i have utna saman isme aa jata hai. even though it looks very tiny and very small it fits a lot of stuff which is something that i've been carrying almost everywhere so i just thought this deserved a mention in the video if I find that this is still available, I'm definitely going to link it for you. Hoops that I've been wearing every single day. This is how this is how they look like. Um, they come in a set of three. I have a very basic one. 
um, a little bit textured and the third one is my favorite so these are the hoops that are perfect size or you might have seen me wearing in my video so very dainty very minimal something that i really like um, i got this from forever 21 from the store offline if i find these online i'm gonna link it for you of course fragrance of the month has to be this one this is by plum body loving this is by plum body loving in the variant orchid you not itna sa bachcha hai can't really smell it like right now but it's such a very safe and very everyday very girly and very daytime scent it's so good i didn't know that i would like this variant of orchid you not so much that's so good um very different fragrance i have not smelled something like this but a very fresh fragrance um i am a very fresh scent person and this is a fragrance that is very mild okay something that's not gonna hurt your nose and give you a headache i love very mild fragrances and, this. and just one drawback that i feel is that this particular one does not last that long maybe because it is kind of a milder fragrance um but the fragrance is bad now coming to the fun part um there's a show guys i finally have been watching the office it's a really fun show it's a different kind of funny i feel something that plays in my back background and i can be by myself loving that show coming to songs i have another song from anuv jain i don't know what it is with his songs that i keep listening to them on repeat especially at night um so it's called gul uh, i'm not going to play any songs in this video because i don't want to get copyrighted the song um something that i'm loving is from the ben midnight's album is paris oh my god i've been listening to that song for like 7 days straight and i think i've gone back to the lovers era and that that has a song called daylight Mm, that song just gives me the chills you listen to it if you are a swifty like me i think this year i turned to be a swifty i wasn't really are also a few other songs i'm going to leave it for you in the description box below so make sure you listen to it please listen to it you're going to like it it's all for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed watching this i know you guys really enjoy my monthly favorites uh give this video a like if you enjoyed watching it Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next year one day. And I will see you next month hopefully with another monthly favorites and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.